Why are test welds important? We're going to find out next. Because looks can be deceiving, test welds prior to welding on a vehicle are critical. A test weld is the exact weld being made on the same thickness and position of material, preferably damaged metal from the vehicle that's going to be discarded. Following the test weld, a destructive test done in a vise will properly indicate if you're set to weld the vehicle. Another reason to do a test weld is that many welders don't make a good quality weld cold. Electronics, moving parts, triggers and relays need to warm up for the best results. If there's a problem with the machine, welding on the vehicle being repaired is not the place to find out. Too many times, technicians get out the welder and set up and start welding on a vehicle. The person who used the welder before could have made the settings way off, or the tip could be garbage. It may take a weld or two or four or five to figure it out. The point is, how many practice welds does a vehicle manufacturer allow to be done on a vehicle? How many of these practice welds could fail? How many could cause corrosion? How bad could this get? How quickly can a shop's reputation be destroyed by one technician in a shop? This is why we ask for test welds. And by asking for test welds, all technicians welding in the shop, not just one technician or a roll rep, know what's expected. A test weld gives you the benefit of knowing that all your technicians know what they are and what they need to do. The test weld gets the bad out of the system. Many first welds or cold welds fail destructive testing. Why would any shop or technician want this weld anywhere on a vehicle? The test weld gives you, as a manager and owner, the confidence that your technicians know how to test and judge their own work too. The little bit of time preparing and testing can help you avoid or reduce many comebacks for quality control, or, in worst case scenarios, issues of a crash. This will also show that the shop followed the repair procedures required by vehicle manufacturers. During re-inspections, many times it's the welds that cost a shop. When a weld is made, follow all dressing and corrosion protection procedures to maintain its longevity. You can be an awesome welder, but blow it all out the door by not following corrosion control procedures. Maintenance is a major problem for any welding machine. A shop can spend a serious amount of money for the best welder out there, but if it's not maintained, it becomes a drain on time and resources. Keep a regimen for all to maintain and clean your machines. Simply put, maintain what makes you money. We've all heard the parable about assuming anything. We assume all techs know how to weld. We also assume that they know how to weld correctly and that management knows the difference between a good weld and a weld that does not pass the test. Do you? I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.